Hey everyone, welcome back to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. If this is your first time here, your last time here, or you're just passing through, I appreciate you tuning in. Right here, with 10 project cars available for sale across North America this week. You'll find links in the video description below for each of these cars. Enough talk, let's get on with today's project cars for sale. Okay, first up here, we have a 1966 Mustang Coupe. Listed for $4,300 US in Snowflake, Arizona. It has a 289 with a three speed manual transmission, builder or rust mod, pretty straightforward, car needs rear pan patches. Motor turns over, 289 four barrel, seller has an extra passenger door. The car has a salvage title. What do you think? Is she worth $4,300? I'm not sure, but let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Up next, we have a 1973 Opel GT, listed for $3,200 US in Lumberton, Texas. It's been driven 92,000 miles and has a manual transmission. Seller's description is as follows. Has a clean title, runs and drives, no AC. The interior is a little rough. Gas gauge and RPM gauge do not work. Seat does not stay up either. New gas tank, fuel pump, fuel lines, and brand new tires in 2023. Personally, I think this seems to be a pretty good deal for $3,200 if it's a running car. Let me know what you think. And here we have a 1978 Chevrolet Camaro, listed for $3,000 Canadian in Red Deer, Alberta. It's been driven 35,000 kilometers, has an automatic transmission. Seller says it's a good project car, the motor knocks. Motor is a 327 with a turbo 350 with a 2800 stall converter. Lots of chrome under the hood and underneath. And here we have a 1979 Datsun 280ZX or ZX depending on where you live. It's been listed for $3,000 US in Spokane, Washington. It has an automatic transmission. Seller's description is as follows. 79280ZX. Runs and drives with some effort and a new battery, but needs that love from you. One tire is flat because it hasn't moved in two years. All tires are new. What do you think? Is it worth three grand? Let me know. All right, if there's anyone else out there that grew up in the 70s, this one is a reminder of the 70s movie Corvette Summer in my mind. 1979 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe two-door, listed for $5,500 US in McAllen, Texas. It's been driven 75,000 miles and has an automatic transmission. Seller's description is as follows. 1979 Corvette, all interior is intact, but had some damage done on the exterior in transport. According to the seller, all fiberglass is mainly repairable and has everything to get it running. Low miles and clean Texas title. Here we have a 1966 Ford Custom 500 listed for $2,800 US in Jacksonville, Florida. It has an automatic transmission. Seller's description is as follows. 1966 Ford Custom 500, 351 Windsor, recently replaced. New radiator. Seller states he's selling it because he's never in town to drive and can't stand to see her deteriorating. Car runs good, brakes need replacement and will need to be towed. Up next, 
1973 Ford Maverick, listed for $2,900 US in Douglas, Georgia. There's not a lot of picks, but I thought I'd include this one as I think the price might be reasonable with a little negotiation. A 1973 Ford Maverick 6 cylinder, 3 on the tree, needs floor pans and work, can show it runs. And here we have a 1968 Ford Falcon Sport Coupe, listed for $2,500 US in Rathdrum, Indiana. Seller's description is as follows. Factory V8 car, C-code, small block, four-speed manual, everything is there, plus a pile of extra parts like doors, hood, fenders, etc. Also, all four Kreger wheels are there. Definitely a great builder. Has a bad motor, 351W, locked up. Clean and clear title, ready for someone to bring it back to life. $2,500 or best offer. All right, for the price, this might be the deal of the week. 1977 Triumph TR7 listed for $1,000 Canadian in Kelowna, BC. It's been driven 12,700 kilometers and has a manual transmission. It's a project car, complete, some extra parts, $1,000 firm or trades. Alright, if you follow some of my other videos, you know I'm kind of into kit cars and dune buggies, so I thought I'd slip this guy in. A 1965 Volkswagen dune buggy, listed for $1,300 US in Mojave Valley, Arizona. Seller says, it's a great project car, body's in great shape, it does not run, but motor turns over by hand. You won't be able to drive it home. I think for $1,300, this might be a good deal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so that's it for today's project cars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you'll be notified when future videos go live. I also post videos twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays of running classic vehicles available for sale for under $15,000 across North America if you're looking for a ready to drive classic vehicle. If you are enjoying my content, I've set up a channel membership. You can click the join button below or the link in the channel description and you'll have access to extra perks, including early access to each and every video before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.